Fishing Jimmy here today. I'm gonna do a product review on the new electric ion ice hogger. I'll show you mine, when I picked mine up, I spent a little more money. I bought myself a nice case. These run about 60 bucks at Cabela's. But you can keep it out of the elements when you're hauling it or if you're out in the lake and it's snow and you use it, throw it back in the case, zip it up, take care of it that way. down on the ice, I'll talk a little about it, about more about it down there, and we'll go from there. Guys, we're out on the ice now. Wanted to sit here and show you guys how well this thing works out here on the ice. Um, what you got on the auger here is you got a safety feature, a little safety button here on the right hand side, and then you got the trigger right here for spinning the blade. On the other side here is what you have, is you have where you can switch it over to reverse. So once you drill your hole, you can switch it over to reverse here and then push the slush back down the hole. Pretty neat feature that, you know, the only one I've seen in the market like it at this point in time. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole and I'll show you guys how well it works, how quick it drills. All right, so once you get through like that, you just depress on the other button. push all your slush right down the hole. Then you have very minimal slush to pull out. You know, you still gotta fine tune your hole and uh, pull a little bit of extra slush back out of there. But for the most part, it pushes most of it back down. So, um, this hogger, mine right now, has the extension on it. It does come with the extension. I just put the extension on it here today so I don't have to bend over as far. We're on about 18 inches of ice right now. So it just makes it so you don't have to bend over further. And then once you do get fishing, you know, up north, once you get three solid feet of ice, you got no problem with the extension. So we'll go ahead and pop a couple more holes here and show you guys how well it works. Alright, so now another thing here on the auger is, if you notice, then all the holes that I drilled here didn't catch it all on the bottom of the ice. I think this is the round deal that they've added on the auger here that helps it from catching. Um, I've used a lot of gas augers in the past and they seem when you get down to the edge of the ice and you're just about to poke through, it kind of grabs. So you got to be ready for that. This thing doesn't grab at all. They say the battery will last about... 40 holes at two feet of ice is what they say. I just used it this time. Uh, this is my fourth time out with it. I haven't charged the thing. I've put, punched uh, 30 holes now. And it just went, it's got a little indicator here. And uh, it has three bars in the light here. And it just went down one light. So it's still well over half battery. Punched 30 holes in 18 inches of ice. So that's my review on it. I give it five stars. I absolutely love this thing. I'd uh, recommend you get out and try one if you can. Never, if you ever got the chance to try one sometime, try one. Otherwise, just go out and purchase one. Follow me on uh, Instagram, Facebook. I'll have more videos to come in the future here on YouTube. And uh, more product reviews on just about anything fishing related you can think of. Tight lines, my friends.